Hi everyone. Okay, so today <clears throat> I thought I'd come on and do another card making ideas. When I put the poll out on my channel, um, junk journaling and card making, one's always um, jumping ahead than the other one, but they're kind of like neck and neck. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a card, but do it in like a junk journal style, if that makes sense. So I've got a pre-made 6x6, just an ivory card. So it's 6 by 6 inches, or if you are new school, it is just under 15 centimetres squared. So, first thing I'm going to do is, let's zoom just in a wee touch. I have some vintage um, violin paper that I got from eBay. Let's see if we can find a date on this one. Usually there's a date, oh it's 19, you say 1955, I think they're all the same, I think that's when the book was published, yeah 1955. So I'm going to take a sheet from here, just any sheet, and take it out and it's gone. You should smell this guys, it smells old and it's got like this age spots and things on it, it's really cool. So I want to put a piece of this on the front of the card, so let's roughly take a pencil and we will roughly mark it where I'm going to tear it, so just tearing towards myself. That way, same with the bottom, that way, down there, and down there, and keep these pieces because they are fantastic for using in your junk journals and things. So, let's stick this down, if I can find glue. As by the magic of Slytherin, I found my glue. Slytherin, I say Slytherin, I'm a Slytherin. I absolutely love Slytherin. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know how, but Harry Potter. I love Slytherin and my favourite, favourite character is Bellatrix Lestrange. Helena Bonner Carter, I think she's amazing. So, let me see. Let's just stick a wee bit of glue down the edges. Like so. Let's pop this on here. That's pretty cute. Now, I'm going to get some ink on it and I'm just going to use the Distress Oxide Tea Dye in one of these wee brushes. These are from AliExpress, they're just to be makeup brushes. They're fantastic for putting on the ink. Just give it a rub. This one's an absolute brand new one, so. And they're so smooth, you don't get any lines or anything like that. So, although it's vintage, we're just going to add a wee bit of tea dye just to vintage it up even more. Like that. Then I'm going to take this floral stencil. This is one of the ones from BB Craft. Um, I'll link this down below, guys, just in case you're interested. I know this is near Baby Craft video per se, but if you're interested, I will put them down. So, a wee bit of stenciling on there. Then, let's take the Distress Ink in the Vintage Photo and just go around the edge of the card just to darken it up a wee bit in the edges okay like that and also you can lightly put it over 
your card, your paper, and it will just pick up. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but because the paper is slightly raised, it will, if you hardly put any pressure on it at all, it will just pick up around the edge of the paper. Okay, so we've done that. Then I want to use a napkin just because I would in a junk journal. So we'll put that to the side for a second. And I've got this beautiful bird, oops, napkin here. I'm just gonna separate it. And I've already taken the backing off of this one. Um, in fact, I don't even know if this one had a backing on it. But basically what I do if I'm taking the back off is take off a piece of washi tape, stick it on and then tear off the back. And it takes it without tear in your front piece so I'm just going to I just want the bird so I'm just going to tear some people use water to do this but but I just tear it round okay okay so just keep going until you're happy with the piece that you have Like that. So there's my wee bird that I'm going to use. Just pop that bit to the side. So I want to have that about there. So for putting on the napkins, you can obviously use your Mod Podge um, or your decoupage glue. I just use a glue stick. I find it works just as well. And if you're not having to seal over the top, then yeah, it's fine. So just go underneath. Pull that down. I think that's about it, is it? Yes. And then once I've put that down, I'm going to take the Distress Tea Dye again and just blend over the top a wee bit and it just makes it look like it's part of the page. Like it's blended in, like it's printed on, if you know what I mean. Like that. Okay. So the next thing I want to do, let's see, I want a wee pocket on the front because like I said, it's a junk journal card. So I'm going to take a piece of ivory card or cream card just because it's the same sort of colour as what I'm using on the card. Then I have this um, little music note stamp. So I'm going to use this. And if I can find my big block, hmm, I can't be bothered looking for it, it'll be hiding somewhere. I'm just going to pop it on this um, stamping folder, put it on there, and I'm going to use the Always Art of Choke. It's beautiful, it's like this deep green olive colour. I've actually got the old olive as well. Um, I bought a load of these off of eBay. Um, I will show you them when I'm doing a haul video. They are really good, uh, the Stampin' Up ink pads, really juicy. So, what I'm going to do is just stamp, oops, dropped it, stamp that whole one there. But that didn't work out very good. But do you know what? I'm actually going to die cut over it anyway, so will it matter? Let's see. I don't know a wee second. Can't find it. I don't know how it's possible, guys, but it is. I've lost my stamp block. I don't know what it is, honest to goodness. And the thing is, my room's quite tidy for me. <laughs> I still can't find it. Okay. So what I'm going to do then, instead, because although I'm going to cut that out, it would annoy me. So let's just lay it on the desk and stamp it up that way and then lay my paper over the top like that okay that's better and then this stamp really does stamp it lovely when i've got my stamping block but that's only when it doesn't do disappearing act on me so i want to, it's because i want to use um look <laughs> oh my goodness 
I want to use a wee pocket die and make a pocket. So let's see. I've got this pocket die. If that's going to fit on. Yeah, it should actually because it doesn't matter about the back part. So let's put this back on its wee sheet. Pop it there where I can see it or I will lose it again. Okay. So, I've got this wee pocket die. It can be any pocket die or you can just make your own wee pocket if you prefer. Pop that on there. Oh my gosh, I've got it covered in glue. My glue's dripping. How's that? It doesn't usually drip that glue, but it is today. Let's see, because if that's covered in glue, then it will... Okay, that should be a wee bit better. Right, let's start again. Pop this on here. Like that, right to the edge. I'm just going to tape it down with a little bit of washi tape. And believe it or not, this washi tape, I was looking for this yesterday and couldn't find that, and it's just appeared in front of me. <sighs> Honestly, Sam. Sometimes I worry about myself. Right, pop that on there and then I'm going to run it through the die cut machine. Okay, so I have cut out my wee pocket. And then I'm just going to fold down the perforated edges to make the pocket. Bring in the tea die and just age it up a bit. Remember to do the inside of the flaps because you can see them a bit through the card when it goes on. Right, so that is the wee pocket now that we've made. <laughs> Bring the card back in. And that is going to sit here on the card. So just get some of my leaky glue. Put that on the wee edges. So like I said, you could just make a wee pocket yourself. You don't have to necessarily use a die. I'm just using this one because I like the pattern on it. Um, but it's easy enough just to make, tear and make a little pocket. So pop that down on there. Just hold it for a wee second though. Okay. Then we need something to go in the pocket. So I have comfort myself in glue but no that's not what I was going to say <laughs> I have um, this white tag okay let's zoom you in a bit this white tag it's just a store bought shop bought um, tag from B&M you get a pack of 20 for a pound so yeah I've got that I'm going to take off the black circle sticker because it doesn't match what I'm doing. Some things I leave them on, depends what I'm making. But in this instance, I'm going to take them off. And they come off easy, they're just wee plastic rings. Okay. So I just peel it off like that. And the first thing I'm going to do, as always, is age it up. So in with the distress oxide. I do have the distress oxide in the <coughs> vintage photo as well as a distress ink. And I do use it, but I've started really using the tea dye one a lot more because it's it's not as dark. There is a place for the oxide one and I do use it, but like I'll show you, I'll use it around the edge this just now and it's really dark and I will use a little bit of the distress ink and you can see it's a lot darker but it's a beautiful colour as well it makes it look like really look like an old 
um, either paper or whatever you're working on. So that is my little tag. Okay, so I'm going to take another piece of the violin paper and just rip myself off a piece. Pop that there. Come on, glue. It spills and it doesn't want to come out. There we go, that's my workout for the day. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm still doing my walking and stuff. I'm just, ugh. Right, pop that in there. There I am. Ink it up. So that it blends in. Okay. Then I got, yesterday I watched Ruth from Coastal Crafts and she went and bought the, which magazine is it? Simply Cards and Paper Craft, I think it was. And you got this beautiful, beautiful stamp set and it's the, uh, sorry, that's a bit close, I'll zoom out again with this. The Country Diary of Rewarding Lady. Uh, from Edith Holden and you got the gorgeous papers and things with it as well um, obviously plus the magazine so when I seen it on this channel I thought yeah that's beautiful that matches what I've been making just now so I went and picked it up last night oops it's up a bit right so I'm going to take one of the stamps and it's the beautiful foxglove one let's just get it off carrier sheet carefully I'm always scared in case I tear them I have tore one in the past actually a while back but since then I'm always a bit wary and trying especially with these acrylic stamps okay let's get that off right so it's a huge stamp actually it's about the size of my hand so it's going to fit nicely over the tag let's just zoom it a wee tad like that so, where did I put it? There it is, right beside me. My stamping platform. I'm going to pop it in there. Um, this is actually the platform that the lovely Tammy sent me, and it's fantastic. I do have the larger one, the Tim Holtz one, um, but I like this one just for my wee projects. So, let's kind of pop it where we want it, roughly about there, pick it up and I'm going to go in again with the artichoke have I got that the right way up? ah you do <laughs> that would be something if I stamped it the wrong way around Ugh. Okay, so we've stamped it, and then let's just see how it stamps. It's a brand new stamp, and we used it, so we'll see. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I quite like that. So let's just take that out of there. Can you guys see that? It might be a wee bit hard to see on the paper, but. You will see it a bit better in a second. I'm going to zoom in a wee bit again. And then I'm going to use my Arteza Real Brush Watercolour Pens. And I'll link these down below as well, guys, just in case you're interested. I have a 15% is 10% off code. Sorry, I keep that's a different one. Um for these up until the 31st of July, if you're interested, they are amazing. Like I said before, any excuse for me to use them and I'm using them. So let's go with this colour here. And this is the Wayne Red. I'm just looking at the actual picture for a wee bit of inspiration. So this piece here is darker. And then um, Ruth done an absolutely gorgeous one of these fox gloves on her channel. Um, I will link it 
this actually, but it could be fuchsia, but it doesn't have the bells hanging at it, so it's definitely foxglove. So let's just add a wee bit of colour to the petals. And I know these are a bit darker than what foxgloves would be, but because I'm doing this kind of card, I'm just doing it in this colour. Because I think false gloves grow in all different colours. I've actually got blue ones in the garden. Um, let me see. I'm just having a look on the actual page to see where the darker pieces should be. This is, isn't very clear on this paper. It's not the easiest to see. Um, I maybe could have picked a better stamp, but I was really wanting to use this. So... We'll just go with it. Hopefully once I colour it in it should look a bit like what it should. <laughs> Hopefully. So we'll add a wee bit of colour there. Is that we got all the colours? think so and then we'll take let me see what this color's like mm. it's maybe a wee bit neon actually that one let's go for a different pink let's go for this one this one is called rouge pink so let's just add in some of the rouge pink look a wee bit more like flowers now like that it's a beautiful stamp right enough but oh, missed one okay let's just add in that one there And this one here, I've messed it a bit. Okay, and then what we need to do is take a sort of vintage green one, this one here. And this is crocodile green. I'm just colouring some of the leaves. These pens are amazing. If I haven't said that a hundred times, I'm saying it again. I absolutely love how they paint on. I feel like I'm painting, I really do. I've said that about a hundred times as well, but <laughs> I'm like a broken record, but they are amazing. Right. So Okay, does that look like a flower now? I think so. Looks better than what I thought it was gonna when I first stamped it on anyway. Okay, so we've got that anyway, that is what it is, that's what it's got. So we've got that. Then I'm going to take the little water brush that you get with the pens and I'm just going to slightly put a wee bit of water over it and it just gives it the watercoloured look. It really looks like it's been painted it turns some kind of chalky 
so it looks like I've sat and hand drawn on this flower, even though I haven't. So that's cute. Cute. It's cute. It's cute. Um, and then I'm just going to take this wee stamp, go in with the artichoke again, and stamp there and there, just to make it look a wee bit more vintage. Okay. It needs to darken up a wee bit at the top there. Okay. So that is my tag and on the back all I'm going to do is take my stencil and put a few flowers on it. Right. So you have a nice place to write there as well. I'm going to take a piece of baker's twine or jute string, whatever you call it. I'm never sure what to call it. I just call it jute string. Don't know. And pop it through the top of here. So there, you have this really cute little tag. So let's bring the card back in. So that is the card. Let's zoom it just a wee touch. And this will sit in here, which I think looks gorgeous. Here I'm going to add um, a little, I've got this tiny wee piece of fabric left over from a journal that I was doing. Because it's a junk journal card, let's add a wee bit of fabric and just pop that on there, like that. I have some washi tape. This is just some butterfly washi tape. And I'm going to tear Tear off that first piece. Tear off a piece and put it there. And tear off another piece and just pop it there. So that looks pretty cute. So I like the composition because you've got the, it looks like you've got the three, you've got the fabric, and then you've got the two pieces because I like you know doing things oddly odd numbers so let's see let's pop that in there like that that's quite cute okay sorry about that my husband came in and talked to me and he had a cigarette in his hand and he knows there is absolutely no smoking allowed in my craft room so I chased him um no not at all I just I don't mind him like smoking in the kitchen at the back door and things but he ran up to tell me something and no, I'm a smoker myself, but I've never smoked really about my craft stuff. I just think, oh yuck, the smell. Anyway, I digress. So, take this out. I've got another one of these stamps from the Edwardian Lady one. And I'm just going to randomly stamp a few wee flowers, just to take away like the, the kind of space. Okay, just randomly, you can see I can stamp it as well. So that is there. And then I have this tiny wee piece of paper that I just tore off the edge from the book paper, eh, the music paper. Just going to add the smallest wee piece of glue across it and stick it across the pocket. I'm just lightly pressing it so that the pocket doesn't close because I don't want to stick the pocket together. Ink it up like that. Then I have this. No, wrong one. <gasps> yes, damn. This one. Thank you, Sam. So I want to take a piece of card. I'm just taking a piece off that piece that I left in the die cutting machine, so it's the same colour. And I'm going to stamp this up again. Let's just quickly stamp this on there. Thank you. And I don't want the button or anything on it, so I'm just going to 
tear it really carefully along like that because I just want a thank you and I have got other thank you stamps but I like the font on this one so I've just got it left like that be tiny and just let's just distress it up like that and then one distress ink vintage photo around the edge so it looks like it's kind of burnt and old and like redirt and I want to pop this there let's see actually let's pop that in here so I'm going to have that there we thank you like that and then finally I want to take a couple of vintage buttons let's see what we've got there's a nice green one that's a nice coloured one we have that wee brown sort of browny blacky one and then that's a nice one that sort of browny one what does that say Ren, Ren. So I'm going to pop these on with my hot glue gun. Pop one there. Pop another one here. And another one. There. Take off the strings. I still haven't invested in the Sizzix glue gun. I'm definitely going to. I've seen Vicky from Crafty Heaven and she reviewed it and said it was amazing. So I'm definitely going to invest in that. And I get the pennies for it. Okay. So that is like that. I'm going to put some ink on that fabric a wee bit. That goes in there, and that is the finished card. And I think it looks lovely. It's a sort of junk journaly, vintagey type card. And then you can go ahead and put an insert on the inside. Um, stamp it up in the inside. You know, do whatever you want to decorate and put your sentiment, or just leave it blank, um, with a little insert in the sentiment. So yeah, I really like that. I think it's really cute. Let me know what you think. Um, talk to me in the comments. Please hit me a thumbs up for this video if you like it. And yeah, I'll see you all again soon. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.